explosion in technological breakthroughs in recent years. But it's the innovators and disruptors who dream up practical applications for these technological breakthroughs that are really thinking big. One that many are finding ripe for innovation is 3D printing, like this R&D center, which was built using the technology. And here in Dubai, there are a number of companies using the technology to pursue their big ideas. Fami al Shawa was one of the early adopters of the technology. So this is 17 hours, and today we have yeah. one more print. Or no. Setting up yeah, yeah, yeah. Immensa Technology Labs in 2016. Our big idea is to completely disrupt the oil and gas spare parts business. He's set his sights on a vast industry, spare parts. From nuts and bolts to metal inserts and valves are used to replace old or broken parts and equipment. It's a massive sector worth billions of dollars. The nature of spare parts is they sit on shelves. People stock spare parts in case of failure and they need to use it. So uh, they're non-effective and non-utilized assets. They're pulled in when they're required. I think that's extremely old fashioned. I mean, with technology, this shouldn't be the case. Using an array of 3D printers, he has started printing spare parts only when they are required. 3D printing is more digital and modern way of manufacturing. Oil and gas is a massive industry and more so in the region. The spare parts spent on oil and gas annually across the world exceeds $160 billion. The amount of wastage, amount of uh, consumption in spare parts is massive. Fami and his team of engineers are building a digital library, aiming to have a copy of every spare part in oil and gas storing the images in the cloud and using 3D printing to replicate them. But he's also using the technology to push the boundaries on what is possible. Traditionally, this is a part that's a consumable. It uses carbon and steel, and any refinery would consume hundreds of these a month. With 3D printing, we were able to replace the conventional material with titanium. It lengthens the lifespan by almost double, from four years up to eight years. Now we're actually optimizing it even further using high-performance plastics that can withstand temperatures of 300 degrees Celsius, and it costs a fraction of the conventional method and much faster to do. A disruptive technology, 3D printing is saving time, costs, and waste, and is revolutionizing the manufacturing industry. According to investment firm ARC, 3D printing is set to grow at a staggering annual rate from $12 billion last year to $120 billion by 2025. Seeing this potential, FAMI has big ambitions. We want to be the biggest in the world. We want to have the largest library of oil and gas digitized parts ready for print. When it comes to 3D printing, few sectors are being left behind. And it's the reason why Julian Callahan left his job in oil and gas consulting. I kind of felt a little bit unfulfilled. I wanted to make tangible things which had real value for people and for society. I bought my first printer. It was installed in February 2017. And from there, we've added printers, we've added people, we've added software and built up the business. What is my big idea? My big idea is to use 3D printing to personalize medical care for everybody. Working out of a leading hospital in Dubai, he has introduced 3D printing into complex surgeries across four hospitals. The process starts with patient data in the form of CT or MRI. And what this data is looking right inside the patient, so it's looking at the bones, it's looking at the organs, Whatever you want to see, we've got a completely full view inside. We then bring that into software, and then we go through to a 3D printing process. And here's a really interesting case that we did recently with the brain surgery team at Rashid Hospital. And you can see this is actually a tumor case, a brain tumor. And the patient has a, a deep-lying um, tumor, which had to be surgically removed. Now, what we've done here is we've produced an exact anatomical replica of the patient, and this allows the surgeon to practice ahead of surgery. It allows him to work with his team 
to define the, the approach that they want to take. And in this surgery, they actually took the 3D printed model into the operating theatre with them so that they could use it for orientation during the procedure. The technology is bringing proven benefits. According to a 2019 study published in Academic Radiology, using 3D technology in complex surgeries sees 62 minutes less time spent in operating theatres, which could save more than $3,700 per surgery. With further innovation, Kalanan sees a bright and growing future for 3D printing in healthcare. The future of medicine and 3D printing is that we see it's going to move to be more and more personalized. One of the key developments is now bioprinting, and that's using, say, patient specific designs to print uh, new skin for patients that have severe burns, or to print bone for patients that had cancer and had bone removal. Uh, or have had bad accidents. We'd like to get involved with uh, bioprinting in the near future if we can get the right technology and if it fits our core competencies uh, as a business.